forget. Henry. I hope you're wrong. no other answer. It had to be Alan Spaulding. I swear I'm gonna kill him, Josh. Well, he should have known that he wasn't gonna take that con job of yours lying down. Look, business is one thing, but what he's doing is downright mean. Well, that's the way he operates. I mean, all, all I did was take him for a little money. $300,000? Look, $300,000, that's just tax write-off to an outfit like Spaulding. Oh, well, then I think you just, uh, maybe you just hurt his pride. Okay, maybe I did, but that ain't no reason to go and try and wreck LTA. I mean, doesn't he realize he's messing with his own daughter's company? No, I... Actually, I don't even think Amanda answers into this. I think he's out to get you, and to get me as well. Well, let me tell you, I think Alan Spaulding had a little surprise in store for him, because I think going head-to-head -head with the Lewis boys may just turn out to be a little more neat bargain for him. Well, he seems to be doing pretty well so far. Yeah, well, we haven't begun to fight back. I think I'm gonna go and have a little chat. Without. I don't see how that's going to do any good, though. I mean, we haven't come up with one solid shred of evidence so far. Today, old Al is in a sensitive position. He's got his whole family gathered together for an interview with Finance Magazine. Now, it might just be the right time to kick up a few accusations. i got a feeling that uh, this is one day Al doesn't want anything to go wrong. Here you go, son. Oh, thank you. I don't get it. You don't get what? Why'd you spend the night here? Well, you see, this very nice officer came to me yesterday with the warrant, and... Yeah, I know. But we're looking at a simple assault charge. That's no big deal. Dad could have had you out of here in 15 minutes. I'm not a kid. Didn't say you were. I'll take care of it myself. Uh-huh. You're doing a real bang-up job of it. This coffee's not bad. Look, Phil, you're entitled to a phone call. You don't want to talk to your dad? I want someone else. Who? I don't know. Must be someone. Phil, it's going to come out sooner or later. Yeah, well, let's let it be later, okay? Because now is a bad time. You're only hurting yourself. Nothing new about that. Come on, son. There's got to be someone. Actually, you may be right. <laughs> Good morning, Alan. Good morning. Well, this room turned out quite well, don't you think? I'm glad you like it. Yes. Uh, you did a fine job. Thank you. I was hoping you'd understand about my business trip. I do. I didn't leave to hurt you. It was business. Like today? Yes. I thought so. Look, this really isn't the time to... Alan... I will keep my word. I told you I would get you through this interview, and I will. We will be a perfect family for one more day. Guiding light. I'm terribly sorry that this old coffee set does not go with your decorator's new room. It's fine. Alan, I'm going to go through with this as I promised you, but I have one favor to ask of you. What's that? If Alan Michael does get a little impatient during the interview, I want your permission to take him upstairs to Emily right away. Why should he get impatient? Well, Alan Michael does tend to be shy around strangers. Yes, all right, that's fine. <clears throat> you really shouldn't pace, Alan. Complete control, isn't that your image? 
Are you going to keep this up all day? Mm. You'll have to just find that out, won't you? Oh, no, 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 Alan, you can't go get that. That's not in keeping with the great man's image. You shouldn't do opening doors. Good morning, Hope. Hello, good morning, Trish. I'm so glad you could be with us today. Miss Jenkins, welcome to our home. Thank you, Mrs. Spalding. I'm looking forward to meeting your husband. Oh, and he's looking forward to meeting you, but please do call me Hope. Uh, now, that's not very professional, but in your case, I'll make the exception. <laughs> Thank you. Alan, this is Ms. Jenkins. It's a pleasure to meet you. How do you do? I know your reputation. I was delighted when I heard you were going to write the article. Well, I hope you'll feel that way when you read it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Won't you come in? <laughs> Thank you. Morning, Trish. Good morning. You know, Mr. Spalding, I was telling your wife just yesterday what a beautiful room this is. I think it's going to make an excellent background for the layout. Well, thank you very much. Won't you sit down? Oh, thank you. Trish, sit here. Thank you. May I get you some coffee, Mr. Oh, yes, that'd be lovely. I hope you don't mind. No. I must say... It's very interesting to finally get a chance to meet you in person. I have been talking to a great many people about you in the last few days. Yes, so I've heard. You are exactly what I was expecting. Well, that's good, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> May I get you cream or sugar? Uh, no, just black, please. Oh, Trish, would you mind going and passing those rolls while Thank I get Alan so his much. coffee? You're welcome. Uh, no, of course not. Now, I've arranged for the photographer to stop by later. Oh, that's fine. The rest of the family won't be here for a while. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I actually was hoping that you and I might have a chance to uh, answer some questions, you know, before we started with the pictures. Thank you. Oh, George. well, that sounds like our cue to leave. Oh, no, no, no. That's not necessary. Oh, but it is. I want you and Alan to have every opportunity to talk everything out. Thank you. <laughs> Darling. Uh, Trish and I will go out on the patio and we'll have our coffee out there, all right? Fine. And if you need us, I'll be right outside. Thank you. Your wife certainly seems to get along very well with Miss Lewis. Yes. They're good friends. You've uh, delegated quite a bit of responsibility to Miss Lewis, haven't you? Yes, yeah, she's a capable executive. Oh, I'm sure she is. But, uh, you know, there still are men who believe that a woman's place is in the home. <laughs> ah. Well, to be perfectly candid, I haven't always been as liberated as I am now. Oh, really? Now, what changed your views? My daughter. Amanda has an excellent head for business. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there uh, some sort of power struggle between you and your daughter over Spalding Enterprises? Yes, it's, uh, it's very difficult having two strong-willed people at the helm of the same ship. Oh, I understand. I take it, then, that you've resolved those differences amicably. Oh, yes, whatever differences there were between Amanda and me are things of the past. Damn, Ellen. A man. Well, I'm sorry, but it's not fair. You know, I couldn't even stand having my picture taken for the high school yearbook. Now I'm going to have to go over to his house and have a family portrait taken. I don't understand this. How can somebody as pretty as you be camera shy? Jane, for heaven's sakes, don't say that. She's fishing for compliments. <laughs> I am not. Good morning. Good morning. She'll probably end up finance magazines. Hover, <sighs> girl. Right. If there's any justice in this world, she'll be centerfold. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get in here anyway? I came in through the Rose Garden. I rang the front doorbell, but nobody answered. Oh, no. <laughs> Say, how would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, I would love some, thank you. All right. Don't hurry, though. <laughs> so, how's my Miss August? Thank you for the flowers. That was sweet. Don't thank me. They belong to you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to see you this morning. Oh, I just came over to give you a little moral support. Oh, oh God, compared to this, I think a dental appointment's fun. Come on, it's not going to be that bad. Not for you, no. You love showing off. Oh, I do, do I? Oh, oh, politicians love photographers and reporters and all that stuff. Would you explain to me how it is that a stunningly beautiful and intelligent woman who's raising a baby, running an oil company, can be afraid of a little interview? I'm not afraid, really. I just don't think it's a very good time for it. I'm, I'm worried about hope. Well, it's going to be a lot easier for hope having you there. I know. It's the only reason I'm going. 
Look, you're going to carry this off beautifully. You know, don't you, that all you have to do is flash that wicked smile <laughs> of yours, bat your eyes a little bit, and you're going to have that reporter just eating right out of your hand. That reporter's name is Anne. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Still, I don't think you have anything to worry about. I hope not. Listen, after the interview, are you going over to LTA? No. I thought I'd leave Billy alone to try to work things out. Good. How about lunch, then? Oh, Ross, I'd love to, but I kind of wanted to come back here and spend some time with Matthew before his nap. I know that. I'm inviting myself over. Well, that's very bold of you, Mr. Marler. Yeah, well, this affair is getting rather serious. Yeah, I think it is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Why not? We've got a few minutes before I have to leave, and I thought maybe you'd want to go upstairs and say hello to Matthew. Yes! <laughs> Good! <laughs> I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. Don't be sullen. If you're in trouble, I want to know about it now. That's great. You disappear for two weeks without a word to anyone. Lower your voice. And then you come waltzing back in here and like you were just start demanding to know what's happened while you were gone. That's not exactly fair. It's exactly true. You mean you're angry because I was gone? You're damn right I'm angry. You don't think I have a right to be? I had some important business to attend. You have a family too. Aren't we important? Look, all right, I'm sorry. I should have said something, but the trip came up very suddenly. There was no time. Well, where was it? On the space shuttle? Oh, and don't tell me. The radio was broken, so you couldn't call, right? You can dispense with the sarcasm. I've apologized. What more do you want? <sighs> Nothing, Dan. Doesn't matter. Look, uh, son, the reason I called you in here was to remind you how important this week is. Finance Magazine is coming to do the photo spread. Oh, and <laughs> you want to make sure I don't do anything to spoil the family image, right? Oh, I know you won't. I know you can handle yourself in public if you put your mind to it. After all, you are a Spalding. No way to forget that, right? I just wanted to be sure I could count on you. Well, don't worry, Dad. I won't embarrass you, I promise. I'll do my best to make sure I say all the right things. Look, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. No, but you do want me to play the game, right? Son. Hey, it's okay. My pleasure. I'll be glad to. Like a pro, Dad. I mean, after all, I learned from the master himself, right? Philip. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry, Dad. You can count on me. Josh, I swear I'm gonna kill him. He's messing with the wrong country boy. Billy. Hey, look, it's one thing for him to mess with business, but he done fool with my personal life. Billy, you, can't, you cannot blame Alan for your problems with Vanessa. Oh, no? I can't? Just watch me. Look, all I needed was a little more time with that girl. I mean, a couple of weeks and everything would have been fine, but oh, no. Old Al, he had to stick his nose right on in there. Well, I mean to make him pay. Well, from where I'm sitting, it looks like we're the ones that are gonna pay. Yeah, so far, I'm the one that's paying through the nose. Well, <laughs> Whatever, but there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, nothing legal anyway. He's covered his tracks very well. Don't worry, little brother. That fox can circle only once. I'll pick up something on him. Yeah. Daddy, Daddy, look, darling, you gotta it's the wrong time to come no, in here. No, but please, you gotta come with me right hold now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Philip's falling. He's in jail, and he's depending on you and me to get him out. 